This is Project Sunset Furry. Moo! Welcome everybody to Project Sunset Furry. I'm Cows Crazy. This is part 51. And we're back here in the graveyard. And uh, last part we were climbing a mountain. We met a yeti man, he went off, uh, he invited us to dinner, actually, this wonderful yeti man, but, uh, he, yeah, he went off on a snowboard, well, it's a frozen piece of leaf ice, and we were supposed to follow him, but, you know, we also uncovered another wolf, so, and a hidden skill, and that's exactly what I'm here to do today. Can I, can I come at this thing from another direction? What happens? Oh. No, no. It looks like no matter what, the cutscene's in front of me. That would have been fun if the wolf would have turned to, like, the left or the right to jump at me. <laughs> Guess they didn't think of it that way. Skeleton Man, we meet again. There are but a few hidden skills left for me to teach you. How many more left? Are, is it two? Or is it three? I, I can't remember. I think it's two. This one and another, I think. Unless I'm forgetting one, which is highly possible. I have warned you of this before, but if you fail to execute the hidden skill I'm about to teach you, your life may be forfeit. Do you still wish to ma Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, very well. But before we begin, I must test you to ensure you have mastered the last secret I taught you. The mortal draw. Um... Um, shit, um, no, that's the helm splitter. Oh, yeah, 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 okay, okay, I need to put the thing away, yeah, 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 okay, okay, no, 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 put it away, yeah, 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 okay, 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 here we go. Mortal draw, mortal draw! Excellent. I almost forgot what the move was. <laughs> it appears you are certainly capable of performing my lost art. Very well. My sixth hidden skill is... The Jump Strike. What? Haven't I been jump striking this whole time? Let it be honed into your mind. Have I not already been doing this? I feel like I've already been doing this. One of the basic sword techniques is the Jump Attack. It inflicts great damage but none would call it effective against multiple foes. To perform the jump strike, prepare a jump attack, but focus power in your blade. The surge the blade releases can strike all enemies around you. Okay, so it, there's a jump strike, and then there's jump attack. It's a little different. Oh, wow. This is the jump strike. Lock on with ZL. And then press and hold A, and wait for just the right time to release your strength. Oh, that's it? Whoa, he's gonna split into multiples. Oh, wow. Well, that's useful. Like, that, that will come naturally to me. I'll probably end up using that a lot without even thinking about it. Hmm, impressive. Don't forget the timing for releasing the power you just felt. The sixth hidden skill, the jump strike, has been passed on. See, what if I don't want to do that, though? Like, what if I still want to do my spin attack? Can I not do that now? Hmm. Like, because normally I'll lock on to the one of the guys in the circle thing, right? But now if I do a jump strike, I don't know if that's... Well, it might. I don't know. It'll still work. I preferred the big roundabouty spin attack in those situations. There is but one hidden skill... Yeah, see, only one more. Uh, Alright, to pass on to you. You are already endowed... Thank you for calling me endowed. With the strength required of the hero. Do you not already feel the courage granted by the strength as it guides you step by step towards your true enemy? Believe in your strength. Continue to push forward. Un 
flinchingly, flinchingly? And without straying from your path. May we meet again. We will. One more time. You said so. You said one more time. Alright. Time to leave this graveyard. So, Elfu learning. And warp. We are going to warp. Um, over here. This part of the map is going to open up. The snow peak part. Look at that. All the way from freaking Zora Land, all the way to the top of that mountain, was only this much distance. And we now gotta get all the way down to there. We're gonna do all this on snowboard. It's kind of ridiculous. And I think I'm probably gonna fail, like, a few times. <laughs> Let's see what I can do. I can't remember if there's a mini game associated with it. I feel like there's a heart piece, so... I can't remember, though. I know for sure there's a Poe at the end, not the beginning. Get out of here, stupid freaking... Freaking stupid keys. No, don't jump off the edge now. Okay. Back to human we go. We've been invited to dinner! It's time to snowboard. Hold it. Where's the tree? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> like, where the fuck's the tree? <laughs> so, bash your tree. Okay. Fine. Roll into the tree. There we go. We get one single frozen leafy snowboard to come down. And away we go. So far it's not as fast as I remember. I thought this was a lot faster. It probably will get a lot faster, maybe? Oh, is that money up there? Alright. There's one little bridge to get across here now. Lots of keys. This doesn't look like we need the snowboard. Couldn't we just walk this? I don't know. Whoa! Okay, we're flying high there. We're into the big meaty part of the section here. Some fallen trees. Look out. Now there is a shortcut there. You can kind of see it on the map. But we're just going to take it the nice, easy way. Go, go the long roundabout here. This is not as hard as I remember. I swore there was a... Okay, well, that curtain... Well, okay. Soon as I said it's not as hard as I remember, what happened? Unbelievable. Okay, can I can I put my sword away? Or no? I guess not. That last curve there, like, is there a way to slow? Is that slowing down? Is that really slowing down? I can't tell. I think I might want to do that though. As we get into that meaty part of the curve. Alright. That was a wipeout there for sure. Wipe, wipe! Wipeout! I jumped too early. Okay. I almost made it all the way to the end in one try. And then, now here comes the pain train. Alright, we can pick up the speed through this part. Okay, so leaning forward does increase the speed. Crashing into a wall will have you come to a complete and total stop, which is not too bad. I don't think you can come to a complete stop otherwise. You can only... Oh, well, you can't. <laughs> well, only because I was on the hill, I guess. 
didn't have enough momentum. You gotta keep that mo momentum going, right? Whoa. Don't crash into any of the trees. The twees. The twees. If you hit the twees, it'll hurt you. Oh no, here come the twees. Alright, alright. No, no, no. Don't hit the wall. Don't hit the wall. Don't hit the wall. Don't hit the wall. Okay. Here we go. We got... We got the meaty part here of the curve. Do not... Go too fast. As we make our turn here. This is where we crashed. And burned last time. Keep it nice and straight and narrow as we make the jump. And another jump. Very nice. You can see the mansion home ahead. How did a Yeti man build this way out here? I do not know. But Yeti man did it. This definitely feels different. The mirror mode is kicking in here at the end. No! <laughs> no, I had made it to his home and everything. No! Oh, man, the punishment. Sending you all the way back. It's not like there's a checkpoint even like halfway down the mountain or anything. I was there, dude. Dude, I was there. And you're telling me fucking Yeti Man does this all the time? Like he's a, just a snowboarding Yeti? Honestly, though, like even if you were excellent at this snowboarding thing and you were fully confident you would not fall into the pit and, and, and die on your return home from the... Whoa! Whoa, money? Oh, there was like 50 bucks on top of that one. But I was not skilled enough to keep it going. Not in the slightest. Okay. Not crash. Do not crash. Let's slow it down. But anyways, as I was saying, if you were amazing at this snowboard thing and fully confident you would make it home each day. The worst part about living down here at the bottom of this track would be going into Zora Village. Maybe that's why he didn't do it that often. Because, like, the mountain climb. <laughs> like, seriously, you have to climb up this thing on foot all the way back. That has got to suck. Relax. As you make this final turn. Relax. Here we go. Right into the stairs. Well, not into the stairs, but he shoveled this part of the walk. Here? What's with this guy? He's got a nice place for a beast man. Beast man? What was that, beast man? I said shut the fuck up, Skeletor. <laughs> what, what, what? Alright, so. Hold it. Is it because it's not nighttime? Can I not tell if it's nighttime? I can't tell. It's very hard to tell if it's nighttime or not. There's supposed to be a Poe here. At least I thought there was supposed to be a Poe here. Oh. Shit, he's up there? I thought he was at the stairs. He's up there? How the hell do I get up there? Can I go back? Can I go back? Really? I can go on foot? Seriously? This is kind of cool. Okay, so... Where exactly is he again? I thought he was up... Is he up here? Is he... Do I have to... Do I have to get up this thing somehow? Um... Will you let me up here? I think he is up here. I think he's at the top of this thing. I don't remember doing this at all for this Poe. I thought he was like right on the stairs to be honest with you. It's okay. We're all 
almost to the top. There he is, there's Poe Man. Ooh, dig. Dig a hole. Dig a hole. Twenty dollars. No, only five dollars. Wayne or shine, buddy. Wayne or shine. Ooh, ten dollars. It's all about that money. It's all about that whoopy life. Hashtag whoopy life. <laughs> Let me see that hashtag out there. Hashtag that whoopy life. Oh no, he got up. You bastard. Down for the count. Thank you. And get it. Mmm, it smells good. Yeah, that poso. Huh. I don't remember him being here at all. I'm telling you, I remember things just so differently. I don't remember being able to walk on this. This snow here. I guess you can't as a human. But could we have walked all the way down then as a dog? Did I have to snowboard? I don't know. I just don't know. But he's a uh, he's expecting a human for dinner, so maybe we should Ooh, a couple pots. Give me those hearts. We'll just let ourselves in. Not even knock or anything. Hello, we came for dinner. Looks cold in here. Is that a Poe? I don't remember Poe's being in this dungeon either, but there is. Oh yeah, if you haven't figured it out, his home is the dungeon. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Oh, no, no, no. Um, shit. <laughs> I can't put the bomb back. Didn't want to do that. So let's check this thing out here. It is. We got a Poe in here, huh? I don't remember him being right in the lobby. Like... Poe's in the dungeon. I'm not saying I'm surprised at that. Right here in the friggin' lobby? Like... He can clearly... You know, we can only see him as the wolf. But the Yeti is kind of a beast. Maybe he should be able to sense that he's got a, a Poe-esque infestation. You got the Poe soul! It smells good, yeah. Yeah, it does. Alright, so this is a wonderful home. Hello? Is anybody here? Some paintings on the wall. But they? That's a Zora. Oh my. Huh. Look at that. Got a chew here. But let's see, we got uh, the Zora Queen? Is that maybe the King of Hyrule, I would guess? So yeah, the Zora Queen, the King of Hyrule. There's another king over here. The stairs are broken though. Oh, and Zora Queen pitcher fell down over here. We should really fix that. It's got some nice pictures here. That looks that looks very familiar. Oh, the the Arbiter's grounds. He's got some nice paintings. Who did the artwork, man? What do we got going on over here? Is this a room? Can I open it? Can I just open any? I can, wow. Well, you can come through here and you can clearly see a treasure chest. But you also see a... What seems to be a bottomless pit in his home. Like, what's up with that? Like, I really like the layout of this place. Like, it's a dungeon. But at the same time, there are just... Some parts of the dungeon within this place that doesn't make sense. Like, it being a little broken makes sense. He's kind of. He probably didn't live here to begin with. He's probably stolen it. Or he's squatting from somebody else. But. I don't know. That huge freaking gap. Come to the main room here, where there's a fire going. Didn't realize the Yeti people need a fire. Who? Uh, are you an owl? Oh, sorry. I have sickness. Uh, come closer. Uh, she, she's down with sickness. 
You cute little human. Husband told me you'd come. You want to look at mirror, huh? My husband found it. But it pretty thing, huh? But since I get mirror, I get sick. And then bad monsters appear. So many bad things happen since mirror. So we lock bedroom on third floor where it hangs, huh? Wait, I'll tell you where key is. Look at that, instantaneous. You get the map. The green room, the yeah, blah, 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 blah. Map, gotcha. Fever makes head blurry, but it, it probably here in the room marked by this symbol. What symbol? Symbol's gone now. Symbol was there for a moment. That's about it. Oh, oh, unless she means the flag symbol. Because there was a different symbol, some kind of a swirling symbol there for a second. But she probably means the flag. So we want to head towards there. There are two more poses in here to find, too. But right now I can't even get up. Would you bring it to me? Why am I bringing you the key? What are you going to do with it? Start with the door right here. Oh, thank you for showing me which way to go. I'll go get the key. But I'll do it for me, not for you. And, excuse me, where's your husband gone? That's another good question, too. And why are there bars over your doors? It's all these bars. You know? I don't remember meeting them there before. Seriously, what's up with the bars? Ah! Oh, you! There's your husband. Wife looked bad, huh? Not healthy since Mirror. So I made soup for her. Fish from Zora River are most nutritious. You tried, huh? You have some? It give you energy. Um. Your weak ship. Oh, well you can actually scoop it. But I don't have an empty flask right now. And I don't remember what all these potions that I got do. Is one of these a lantern oil? That one doesn't look yellow enough, honestly. And this one looks gorgeous. Hmm. I don't remember what all these potions do, but I've had them for a while. I think I'll be okay, though. I, do have, I still do have a fairy on me, too. Um. But yeah, you can come here for soup pretty much anytime you want I think what's through here welcome to the dungeon proper now I guess now it gets really dungeony in here very very dungeony and less homey well so as you can see the bars have been removed by pushing this button but you probably saw that coming with the block here. So we got ourselves a block puzzle. Hold it. There are two. Ow. Okay. That won't break with this sword. Okay. So, let's... Hmm. We're gonna have to. We're not gonna be able to move this. What's this over here? Looks like I can see down into the floor below. Can I climb these boxes? You're not gonna let me climb the boxes? Seriously? But I can see another door over there. You won't let me climb the box. Seriously, you will not let me climb the boxes. You're not going to climb the boxes. You're not even going to try to climb the boxes? That's a little frustrating. Alright, well, let's start pushing. Grip and pull and grip and pull. And of course, it's on ice, so it's going to move pretty quick. Your. Cold as ice. 
Uh oh, I don't think that was right. But let's try. Let's try this. That will hit the other one. I hate block and puddles. I really do. This one's really gonna test me, isn't it? Okay, now I can push this into the ice. That will break it, right? No. Hmm. Okay. I can always do this, though. No, no, not into it. I think I. S well, maybe not. Maybe I don't see it yet. Or no, 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 I see it, I see it, I definitely see it. I think I see it, I definitely think I see it, okay. Uh, here, here we go, here we go. Hey, boop, doop. Push this over there. And then you can slide this thing all the way to the other side. And then across you go, and you shove it down, which will bump into the other block, and you can easily put it on. The button. Puzzle. <laughs> Solved. Excellent. Now we may open a door like a normal human being. And we are not outside yet. There is like a courtyard to this place. We got an ice monster here. And we are locked in this room. But, good old doggy. Doggy, 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 doggy. As you can see, there's a dig spot here. Diggy, diggy, diggy. And with the dig spot comes the outside, the courtyard. And there's the love shack up there. That's where we're headed to eventually. The love shack, baby, love shack. Why? It would block up their own bedroom. Why not just put the mirror somewhere else? Twenty bucks. Twenty dollars. Oh no! More wolves. For some reason, I remember this dungeon being extremely difficult to me. Like being stuck in this courtyard with these wolves for like a really long time. Do these wolves not go away? Alright, well, let's get human. Maybe maybe human can beat the wolf. Oh human can't can barely move. Let alone beat the wolves. Can't walk in this snow. And again, wolves aren't doing much to it. Well, there you go. One swing of the sword did a lot more there. Boom. Okay, explode, wolves. Like a fruit full of flavor. Okay, it, can we get to the smaller ground here? Is this a button? Looks like a button. It's a treasure chest. I think it's the top of a treasure chest. But we can't do nothing with that right now. The deep snow is no good for us. I think we're supposed to stay as a wolf. Oh, we can dig it up. We can dig it out. Dig out that treasure chest. And open it up. And what do we get? A key! It opens locked doors in the area. So, as we've always learned, get a key, use a key. So, we got a key, now where are we going to use key? What? Get out of here. That took a lot of hits. I don't see anywhere else to go here. I think we might have to head back. Oh, can we climb through the... Oh my god, we can climb through the window. Climb through the window, and there it is. There's get a key, use a key. Well, Dougie can't use a key. 
So we're gonna need human power to use a key. Only humans may use the key. I don't remember doors being on the other side of it. Oh, there is. Okay. Well, we'll go through there and we'll use the key in the next episode. Until then, everybody, I've been Cows Crazy. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment below. And, of course, move.